Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has once again confirmed another known issue caused by some recent Windows updates. And this latest known issue is affecting both Windows 10 and 11 users. And the problem is direct access issues while trying to connect to a network remotely. Now, Microsoft says the problems started after installing the Windows 11 version 22H2 Moment 1 update which was KB5019509, which started rolling out around about the 18th and 19th of October last month, or any later updates. So for both Windows 10 and 11, that would be the optional bug fix release updates that rolled out um, near the end of last month, October, or the compulsory patch Tuesday updates that rolled out for both Windows 10 and 11 last week. Now, um, if we just head over to Microsoft Docs, um, this latest known issue was opened and resolved on the 13th of November, which was yesterday in my region. So this was opened and resolved over the weekend. Now, here is how Microsoft describes this latest issue. You might be unable to reconnect to direct access after temporarily losing network connectivity or transitioning between Wi-Fi networks or access points. So that's the actual issue. And I must just say uh, um, at the get-go is that um, most home users and um home devices will not be affected by this issue. As many of you may know, direct access is mainly used um, by corporations and enterprises to access network resources remotely. So your average home user is most probably not going to be affected by this issue. Now, um, Microsoft does note here that if you are affected, that um, the issue should not affect other remote connectivity solutions such as VPN and always on VPN. So just take note of that. Now, once again, um, Microsoft has resolved this latest direct access issue using a known issue rollback. And once again, if you are, are unaware what a known issue rollback is, um, it's something Microsoft do does from their side. You don't have to install an update. And the known issue rollback can take up to 24 hours to be put in place. So what I always suggest when Microsoft does use a known issue rollback to um, resolve a Windows update problem, always just restart your device as that could force the known issue rollback to take place sooner. Now, um, if you are a administrator in an organization and an enterprise and you did not receive the fix automatically microsoft said that says that admins need to install and configure these group policies um, to resolve the issue on um, on their relevant devices so i'll leave a link in the description to this web page where you can just come and click on these relevant links to get access to those different group policies and uh, um, the affected platforms are windows 11 version 22 h2 um, Windows 11 version 21H2, Windows 10 versions uh, 22H2, 21H2, 21H1, 20H2, and Windows 10 Enterprise um, LTSC 2019, and also Windows Server 2022 and Windows Server 2019. So that's it. That's the latest known issue, which has been resolved using a known issue rollback. And as mentioned, I'll leave this page for easy access in the description. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.